pale ginger beer scone. Put about two cups of flour in there. We're going to join this guy, we're having scones for morning tea. Add a teaspoon of salt, and then we're going to add our ginger beer. So I'll give you when you're making scones, try not to overwork the mix in a nice hot oven. Give that a light dusting as well. Put that on there, and we'll get a bit of heat on the lid as well. Now we can smell scones. And wacky bloody do, eh? I found myself a uh, nice shoulder rope. Right, we'll take that out of the packet. More with bud, we can cut straight in. Alright, we'll cut them up like that and toss them in. It doesn't really matter the size. Butter in there with it too, because we need to do it. And we can bung that on the heat. And pour it in on the heat. And just give that lid a bit of a spin and then it'll avoid any ash going in your pocket here. Yeah? Off comes the lid. If I get a clear fluid coming out like I can just see there, that's telling me that's cooked pretty but well in here. But I'll jump up here and carve this up. I thought it was delicious. It was really, really surprising that um, he didn't put any oil or anything in and that he cooked the lamb and the veggies all at the same time. It was beautiful. Absolutely oh, lovely. Beautiful. It had a lot go? more flavour than traditional cooking yeah. in the oven. It was beautiful. It was great. Oh, I love the lamb. It was really delicious. It had a lovely flavour and the fact that he put no seasonings, no fat, no nothing. It, it was just lovely. Good to be me, it's good to be me, it's good to be me, all right. Garlic, chilli and brandy corn. Of course it does, and margarine's only one molecule short of being plastic. I just quickly chop all that up. Who can do that? Right up. Wait. Don't be scared to kill it, the squash that will make it easy to peel. So we'll quickly cut that up. And now I'll add those herbs to that hot butter. Back on the heat. And have some prawns. Now you want to cook your seafood quick, otherwise what happens? It goes all floury, right? You don't want to cook it too long and we want to cook it very fast. A bit of brandy. <laughs> And you put a couple of good gloves around about and say, Woohoo! Love fire and I love blowing shit up, isn't it great? I want to add around about 100 mils to 150 mils. Alright, so that's getting pretty hot, that's boiling away there now. Okay. As that cools down, your cream's going to thicken up. Excellent meal to have, oh, wow. you know, quite quick and easy and the kids enjoyed it.